back to my channel and welcome to The Recipe Therapist. So today I'm making a seven layer salad trifle. Yes, a salad trifle. It's really, really delicious, beautiful looking, and it's actually inspired by my sister-in-law, Karen, who brought it to one of our holiday uh, gatherings. It was a Christmas celebration a couple of years back. And I thought to myself, this is so beautiful and so delicious that I, I wanted to make it then, but I just kind of like forgot about it until just recently, now that the summer's here, I said, this is gonna be the perfect trifle to share with all of you. So I'm happy to do it, so let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look and see what goes into this salad trifle. So I'm going to be using my nice tall uh, trifle bowl. If you don't have one of these, you can use like a, a large glass bowl, it would work well. Okay, of course we're going to start out with some iceberg or romaine lettuce. I'm using romaine lettuce today. I have some salted ham cut into little uh, chunks like this, which I picked up at my local uh, grocer at the deli department. I also have some chopped green bell peppers, some celery, and some sliced onion. I have some frozen peas here, and I'm going to explain just a little later. There's a little, little trick with this uh, frozen peas. I'll tell you that later. And I have some sour cream with one tablespoon of sugar in there, just to sweeten it up a bit. And of course, some mayonnaise. I have a blend here of Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese, shredded, and some small cooked elbows. Now, we are going to be using one pound, yes, one pound of bacon, which I'm going to show you a little trick of how I make this pound of bacon in the microwave so quick and very not messy. So we're gonna start out with our bacon first. So I'm gonna show you my trick of a very non messy, non splattering of oil all over the place cooking uh, method of uh, this pound of bacon. So what I have here is a nice roll of a durable uh, paper towel, okay? So I have two sheets right here that I pulled off. I'm gonna line it on a glass dish, okay? Because we have to put glass in the microwave. And I'm going to take about five or six strips of my bacon, okay? Now, I do kind of like maybe fold. If it's longer than the paper towel, I fold the end a little bit, which is fine. It's gonna cook up nice. Okay, and I line the paper towel like this. And this is an uncured bacon, by the way. I picked it up at Trader Joe's. I absolutely love their bacon. It's not so salty, but packed with flavor. I think I'm gonna put six slices, just like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to take two more sheets of paper towels, and that's it. We're gonna layer this layer by layer, and then we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook it in the microwave. So I just finished layering my bacon, and I have about three layers. So I've got one, two, and my third. Now I put two, like I said before, two paper towels in between each layer, except for the top. You're just gonna need one layer on the top. And now I'm going to put this in my microwave for about anywhere between nine to 12 minutes. Um, I ha mine works at 12 minutes, but I've had other microwaves before where it just needed nine minutes. So I'm going to put this in the microwave and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how nice and crispy and delicious it's gonna be. Okay, so I just finished cooking my bacon and come take a look. It cooked for about 12 minutes in my microwave and I just want you to see that. You see how crispy that bacon looks? It's great because the paper towels absorb all of the oil. And look at the top one. See, even the top is crispy. I can handle it. It's nice and crispy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bacon now, I'm gonna chop up the whole pound, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna build our trifle. All right, friends, so this is the fun part. We're ready to assemble our trifle. So I put everything, I've laid it all out in order in, in the way we're going to build it. I just wanna show you, I've taken my celery and I've added it to the lettuce because that's what the recipe requires. So that's all mixed in. Then we're gonna add our peppers, our ham, our pasta, and our mayonnaise. Then we're gonna add our sliced onion. I chopped up our bacon, which looks great. And on top of that goes our cheese, 
our sour cream with a little bit of sugar in, and we're gonna finish off with our frozen peas. So I'm gonna take my lettuce and my celery, I'm gonna put it right in a trifle like this, okay? And I'm gonna flatten it so I have enough room as I begin to layer my trifle. Then I'm gonna take some ham and just, you know, kind of drizzle it. Now I wanna get along the outsides uh, to make sure that you see the ham from the sides of the bowl, because you know we want this to really, really take shape and look good. So I'm gonna put the ham in. I guess I'll use kind of all of it. Looks good. Okay, so that's looking nice and colorful. Then we're gonna take our green peppers and just drizzle them on top, nice and crunchy. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our pasta. So now we're ready for our pasta. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right on top of those peppers. And what I wanna do is I wanna flatten it down because I have to make room for our mayonnaise, which we need about a one inch thick, the recipe says, of our mayonnaise. So that's perfect. This is about one cup of cooked pasta. So I have um, my measuring cup here of two cups of mayonnaise. I'm gonna see if it's enough. If it's not enough, I have some more waiting. So I'm just gonna dump it all out right there in the center. I know it looks like a lot, but this is you know, part of our dressing for this trifle. And when you scoop out this salad and you hit this mayonnaise with all those other you know, things that we got going on, it is just so good. So I'm gonna spread it where it you know, kind of touches the sides. And it's looking like it's about half inch. So I'm gonna use a little bit more. Probably gonna use like two and a quarter cups of mayonnaise and that should be good. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread this around and we're gonna come back and we're gonna put our onions on top. So I got my red onions going in. Okay, and I tried to slice them as thin as I could. And again, I want to just spread them evenly so where you can see the colors coming on the outsides of the bowl as well. And I can smell them, they smell so good. Now we're ready for our bacon, our nice crispy chopped bacon. So I'm just gonna put that right on top and I'm gonna put it nice and even. It's nice, it came out so crispy, look at it, it's so great. And, and you can see how nice it's looking on the sides. You see all those nice colors? It's looking so great. All right, so we're almost at the top already. And now we're gonna do our cheese. I mean, look at this. This is just a terrific, terrific salad. So I'm gonna try to get this again evenly and we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish up with our secret with the peas that I'm gonna share with you and our sour cream. Okay, so I am so excited to finish up the top of this trifle. So we have our sour cream, and the idea is to just drizzle it on top, okay? Almost like a dressing. And like I said, it's got that tablespoon of sugar in there, so it's this sweet sour cream. So I'm just gonna go back, like, back and forth like this. And I have my rubber spatula here because I don't wanna waste a drip of it. It tastes so good. All right, so I'm gonna get it all out, just like this. And you can see, the camera will show you how great the side looks. You can see how beautiful this trifle is looking on the sides. You see all those nice layers in there. So I'm just going to spread this on the top. Okay, gonna go around like a work of art. It looks beautiful. All right, and now, here's the secret with the peas. The reason why we use frozen peas on top is so that when these peas defrost, the drippings from the peas seep into the layers of the trifle and soften the onions and make all the flavors come together. So we're just going to put our peas right on top, just like this. I'm gonna be very careful because I really want this to look good. Now, this is looking really good. You see that? And look at this trifle. It is so beautiful. 
It is perfect. It's a crowd pleaser. It's perfect for picnics, barbecues. It's the perfect summer salad dish. Now, this trifle is best made the night before so that these, like I said, these peas can defrost and you know the drippings can really um, bring all those flavors together. But you can make it the day of. You just gotta leave enough time for these peas to defrost. I would say about two hours or so before serving. And it's absolutely the perfect trifle for the summer. Okay friends, so here it is, the seven layer salad trifle. Look at it, it looks just beautiful. It's got all those nice layers in there, the pasta, the ham. We put our nice sour cream on the top with our frozen peas. And I garnished it with two lemon wedges. I put a slit in each piece and put it on top to give it some height. This trifle is perfect for your next holiday or picnic or barbecue. I'm gonna stick this right in my refrigerator and tomorrow when I go to serve it, it's gonna be so flavorful. It's gonna be perfect. So for the full recipe, I'm gonna leave it in the description box. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And we will see you next time to serve up some more love. Take care.